Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution! Brought to you by GhostBed.com! Like I said, this isn't my normal, but enough, like so many people <laughs> sent me this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I guess this is the kind of stuff that you guys want to hear. Well, we'll start with the age. Um, the guy was 74, 74 years old, so maybe he was tired of his own dick. It wasn't him, though. Oh, he was the one performing He's it. the one performing on Oof. a 53-year-old. That's shaky hands, man. I don't want a 74-year-old castrating me. If that's what I'm into sexually, I don't want shaky hands around my ding-dong, right? Uh, so he's performing it on a 53 year old dude, 53 year old dude. Yeah. Big age gap. So clearly sure. he was into daddies. Right. Um, guy was the guy a doctor or nope. any license? Mm-mm, mm-mm, no. Mm-mm, mm-mm. So he's just an amateur. Uh, among his, um, uh, among his charges is, uh, performing, uh, practicing medicine without a license. Mm. So they really, they got him on that. Yeah. 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 And just overall being fucking creepy. Is and I don't like to fetish shame. shame. Of course. Of, of course. course. Yeah, you, you've never we're not done gonna it. Kink, we're not going to kink shame here. No, nah, no no kink shaming on this show, obviously. But, gosh, that one is tough not to shame. That, you know what I that mean? That really is. So what do they end because up I don't get it. doing with the dick? Were they able to sew the dick back on? They didn't say any of that. Uh, do we have the, the, the 53-year-old man's name? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Well, look, if, he's, if you're out there and you're watching, which I'm sure you are. Sure. Uh, we have a big demo in Florida. Big fetish demo. Uh, we wish you the best, and I hope you mm-hmm. get your, your ding-dong sewed back on. But I hope, I hope that ding-dong lives to see another day, because obviously, if you're going in getting castrated, right? That's something you're into something you're once into. isn't going to be enough. You're going to want to do that again. You're going to need to do it again, yeah. yeah. You're going to need a strong Betsy Ross, though. Real sewer in the family to get that ding dong back on. Right, and then I'm gonna need that that um, website. Yeah. Oh, the app. No, I'm gonna need the website for where he purchased the online the pills online. From oh, sure, England. sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. sure. The painkillers. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Um, man, so, that is. A, if that doesn't make you feel good inside, nice and warm and fuzzy, <laughs> then I don't know what else I could do for you. I think we're starting people's Mondays off right. <laughs> uh, the way that the way that it With should be. With just an at-home castration. Of yeah. Two dudes finding each other on the internet, and people. Some people say, you know, like. What do you start with? Do you go scissors? Or do you do you go knife with that? You go forceps and scalpel. Uh, so you just hold it up and then just start to. Ah, you know boy, what I and mean? that's right and that's what they the said. Shaft. No, I'm just showing you how if I were to do it. And again, me and me and the guy are at the same level of medical training, I'm sure. Sure. Subscribe on YouTube if you want to see Jade's <laughs> uh, hold up the, the forceps yep. and then just scalpel starting yeah, at, at the, the shaft. shaft yeah. yeah. Oh, or boy. wait. Yeah. Yeah. Who gets how, how, who gets off in that situation? Again, I have so many questions. Most weird fetishes I can be like, OK. Like yeah. I understand who's getting what out of what, whatever, and why, yeah. what and why risk versus reward, all of that stuff. This one, I just cannot, I cannot yeah, wrap I, I would imagine like, it. let's say you're the guy getting his, his dong lopped off, right? Mm-hmm. Or balls. The last one that he did was uh, one testicle. The guy was getting cut off. Ooh, very Lance Armstrong. Yep. So, and that was like his thing, right? I guess. Yeah. He's into uniballers. Yeah. And um, even that I can be like, okay. I wonder if they played uh, Jay- that Jay-Z song, Ball So Hard. You know? The 74-year-old? Ball So Hard. Probably. That shit's faded. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that shit cray. Ball So Hard. And then it was just <laughs> yeah. that one ball. Mm-hmm. Just a guess on that one. Yeah. I have no did idea. you have another question, though? I did. Okay. <laughs> um, who gets off in that situation? Mm-hmm. Like, the guy who's getting his, his dick lopped off, right? Yep. Is he hard? And then, that, then the knife goes through it? Look, they didn't. I don't know. No, no. I'm just asking oh, aloud oh. now at this point. Oh, like, I don't. Again, I do not have any of these answers for or you. Or is the is the 53 year old dude jacking off the 74 year old man who's lopping off his While dong? He's doing it. Um, and again, that's a one time so thing. Really, you gotta. Everyone's gotta, you know, get off that one time. 
it's not going to happen again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, the guy's done it twice. Yeah. And then does he save it? Does he save it for his own he collection? He has video. He has video, but mm-hmm. does he save the actual parts? Um, There was a jar, I think. Did he keep that tater? Or did he, uh, you know, give it back to the guy so he can maybe stuff it back in his sack? Oh. Uh, how does that work out, yeah, you know? Gosh. Is there an agreement beforehand, like mm-hmm. before you show up of like, hey, man, mm-hmm. I'm going to let you t- uh, take a tater out of the sack, but I'm going to need you to go ahead and uh, put put it back in and zip it back up before Jeff we uh, just get out of here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. You think so? Yes. Ah, all right. Well, it makes a little more sense. You also got to be near a hospital, I would, I would imagine, right? Yeah, or this guy, yeah. This guy just has a lot of confidence that he's going to be able to perform the surgery mm-hmm. correctly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh. A lot of ice, too, I bet. Yeah. Lots of ice. A lot goes into getting on. Like, as I look at it, it as an all the way around thing, right? A lot, lot goes into getting off like that. Mm-hmm. If, if you have to get a scalpel, obviously make sure it's clean, all that other stuff, towels, ice, everything else, just to get off one time, mm-hmm. it's too much work. Yeah. That's way too much work for me. But all that's part of it. Do you know what I mean? I, maybe. You're like building up to it with all of that. Yeah, that's the foreplay mm-hmm. element of it. Mm-hmm. Man, uh, maybe that's where the wheelchair porn thing comes into play too. Because I, I never understood that. You know, where you see uh, people in wheelchairs running over people's boners. Yep. That's, uh, uh-huh. that's where I'm like, man, all right, cool. I, but Because you're going to survive that. Where do you see this? Pinterest? You're gonna, yeah, you're going to survive that. Uh, no, I, I think it's... Um, <laughs> uh, ABC.com. Yeah. So, so you just want to go on ABC you, again. You can look up, pull up that new Dancing with the Stars lineup, and then right again, underneath that, you scroll to the bottom of the page for that wheelchair porn. Again, I can get I can get a lot of different fetishes. That right? was the Russell Brand thing. You know that, right? Yeah, the wheelchairs. Yeah, wheelchair porn. That was uh, that was what drove him and Katy Perry apart, allegedly. You know. Yeah. <laughs> when that's your last resort, mm-hmm. what I think is. Because at the time when I heard that, I was like, "Man, eh, it's last resort. What you just read to me right there. That would be the actual last resort. Yes. Mm-hmm. You just stepped it up. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Like put, putting nails in it, driving over it, kicking it, mm-hmm. putting a, a heel in there. Fine. Mm-hmm. You'll recover. Yeah. At some point. But gosh, the, ex- the extremeness yeah. of that <laughs> final frontier. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Man, it's crazy that there's people like that out in the world. It is. I was really hoping to not talk about this one for this long, but ah, you, you know really, me. You know really me. Really had so many questions. When <laughs> we do a crime corner, I like to examine it, yeah. uh, just like any other detective would. Sure, sure. I, I like to to put my gum shoe on mm-hmm. and uh, throw my two cents around and put a little weight into it. Sure. Because I want the audience to know that I've thought about it. I'm here for you, and uh, if you do have one of these fetishes, congratulations, uh, you're not alone. I'm trying to figure it out and help right. you, you know? Dan, where are you going? Uh, Dan Holloway. This is Dan, the first time that we've grossed out our other, our other co-host that, to, to the, Oof, the point ooh, where he has to, to leave. Ooh, fancy. When someone gets their penis cut off uh, and then they walk out of the studio after that, mm-hmm. um, that's kind of amazing to me. Kind of amazing to me. <laughs> So let's give the revolutionary figure of the day to Russell Brand. Um, For really bringing all of that to the forefront. I didn't know wheelchair porn porn was a thing at all until that rumor happened. Again, can't confirm it. Sure. Not going to deny it because I don't know that either. Right. But I thought when I heard that, I was like, that's the end of it sexually in your life where there's no place else to go. Where you've gone to the end of the porn internet. Yes. Right. And I've been proven wrong today. Yeah. I've been that absolutely proven wrong. I, I've shown you the end. It's not pretty. 